This is Thistle Gun Range in Utah. This is the first time many of the people here will have fired a gun. They're teachers. I used to be a teacher too. I was a teacher for five years and I remember preparing and thinking a lot about what I would do if an active shooter came into my classroom. I have mixed feelings about this. I don't love the idea of guns in schools, but at the same point, I didn't love the idea of not having any protection against an active shooter either. I can understand why these teachers want to learn more. So let's find out what they're doing. I'm on my way to the shooting range to see the final part of the 20 hour course. I had an opportunity to catch up with one teacher, Jeanette. So tell me why you decided to take this course. Well, you hear about school shootings all the time in the news, so I figured it's better to be prepared. I mean, you hope that's never gonna happen, but you never know. Before becoming a journalist, I taught in New York where carrying a gun in the classroom would have been illegal. But here in Utah, teachers can take a weapon into school. They've come to this shooting range to learn how to do it safely. So if you have your hearing protection, your gun, and your magazine in your pocket, you can step in front here and work your way down to the target. During the school week, Russ would be teaching ninth grade history and geography. Unfortunately, because of the world we live in today, I want to make sure that my, I have a way to to plan and make sure my, my students are safe. Teachers can be armed in around 30 states. And this course is not just about learning how to shoot. It's teaching them what you would do if you encountered an active shooter. This is the hothouse. I'm using a desk, for instance, that I've got in my classroom, and I get low behind it. He's coming in, he's looking at that other corner. I'm already shooting him, and he hasn't spun around at me. We will put the teachers or the participants in the class, one in each of these rooms. We will have some opposing force, some aggressors come in, and they'll have uh, AR-15s shooting blanks. So the hothouse scenario was a lot. Um, it felt like you were in an action film. The teachers were going from room to room, carrying their guns with them, you could see that they were scared. Their hands were shaking. I could feel my heart thumping, so I could only imagine that they were also scared too. It was a really intense scenario. I just sat there, I kept thinking, if I'm this scared when I know the situation is fake, how scared would I be if this was actually going to happen? They've been running this course since 2019 and there's even a waiting list. But I didn't appreciate why this training is so valuable until I spoke to the sheriff who set up the course. Sheriff Smith told me about a time when he responded to an active shooter situation at a local school. It ended up being a hoax, but he was really upset by what he saw. They found weapons in purses and in desk drawers, and they were in places that students could easily have gotten to them. So Sheriff Smith realized that teachers are going to carry weapons into classrooms in Utah. That's just the reality. And he needed to train them so they could do it properly and safely. Some people want to say, hey, Sheriff Smith's arming teachers. That's not true. We're not doing that. And these aren't. Uh, gun nuts, they're not anything like that. These are normal people who, who want to do what they can to keep their kids safe. And perhaps in the absence of sensible gun control policies, this is better than nothing. Thank you for watching. To read more about gun violence in schools, click the link. And don't forget to subscribe.